Hi everyone, welcome back to M&M. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how I made this very cute looking roll-up pencil case. I am following a block tutorial for this one and let's get started. Okay, in terms of material, all you'll need are three pieces of fabric, ideally the same size, 13 inches by nine inches, but in my case, I didn't have enough fabric, so I'm using two and a half pieces. You'll see that it worked out okay later, and two pieces of ribbon or string or whatever you have on hand. So we're starting with piece number one, laying it flat, facing good side up, and then taking the second piece of fabric. If you have a full size fabric, you will be folding it in half. But in my case, I just made a little crease at the top to make it look like a half. And then you wanna lay it flat on top of your first piece, like so. And then for the pencil slots, you will be marking lines that are about one inch apart in the middle. So think 12 slots, and that will leave about an inch or inch and a half on either sides for sewing, etc. And then you just wanna stitch those lines up. So we're starting at one edge, stitching all the way down, then going sideways about an inch, as we marked earlier, and then going back up and then doing it all over again. So as you can see, I am overlapping a stitch going up and down. So you'll go all the way down to the other edge, which will be creating 12 neat little slots for your pencils. Don't worry about making perfect lines. Um, I did, definitely did not. They just need to be one inch apart. So that's what it looks like once you're done sewing. Now, moving on to the next step, we want to secure our ribbons on. So you take two pieces of ribbon and just stitch it roughly onto the left side on there. So once you're done with that, we want to take our final and third piece of fabric, face it down so the good sides are facing each other, make sure your ribbons are tucked in, and then we'll be sewing all around. You also want to leave about a two or three inch gap on any side, just so that we can turn everything inside out. In terms of seam allowance, um, I left about a half an inch or close to an inch, and it was perfect. So there you go, that's almost done. Um, once you're done sewing, you just wanna turn everything inside out through the gap that we left earlier. Now, this was the hardest part of this project because I left about a two inch gap and it was way too small for the fabric that I used. So leave about three inches minimum. And then once you're done with that, we just want to make sure that we close the gap. And here I just hand stitched or hand sewed everything and it worked out fine. And we're done. And that's what it looks like. I really like how it turned out. And I think if you use a cute fabric, it will just bring it up to the next level. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.